Hello everyone and welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. There is a woman who shared a video where she detailed what happened to her friend. Apparently, this woman's friend wanted to have some work done. Clearly, she wanted to have the thick body style. As a result, she looked into getting a BBL. After that, the woman found a deal of a lifetime to get her Brazilian but lift better known as a BBL for $3,500 in the Dominican Republic. However, her friend issued a warning to anyone going out of the country for cosmetic surgery. According to the friend, this woman went to the Dominican Republic for a BBL, but ended up having her kidney stolen. So let's talk about it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share the video. This Miami doctor has been banned from performing Brazilian butt lift buttocks enhancement surgeries after a patient died on the operating table the same day. According to the Miami Herald, the 33-year-old patient died after Dr. John Sampson performed BBL surgery on June 16, 2021. According to an autopsy report obtained by the Herald, Sampson punctured the woman's liver and intestines during the procedure. The Florida Board of Medicine banned Sampson from performing the BBL procedure again. He was also fined $20,000 and $5,626 for the board's investigation and prosecution costs. Sampson was ordered to study five hours of continuing education in medical records keeping, a one-hour lecture on liposuction and gluteal fat grafting surgeries, and he can't be the head physician at any private or public medical office or surgery center. A BBL procedure is a gluteal fat transfer and liposuction surgery that gives women unnaturally exaggerated buttocks and hips. Hundreds of women get BBL procedures performed every month in the U.S. or in South America, where the prices are cheaper. Nearly one in five Black and Hispanic women have had a BBL procedure, according to recent statistics. In 2020, an estimated 396,000 women had buttocks enhancement surgery. That figure has jumped 20% since 2020. Women who undergo BBL surgeries typically have low self-esteem and body image disturbance issues. The Brazilian butt lift is a celebrity-driven procedure that has skyrocketed both in popularity and in notoriety as the most dangerous operation in cosmetic surgery. When I hear about problems with the BBL, I think of other next big things in plastic surgery that have come and gone, often leaving a trail of complications. One doctor said that in their 10 years on New Jersey's Board of Medical Examiners, I questioned whether deadly procedures were just performed poorly or whether the procedure itself was flawed. In the 1990s, liposuction was the problem child. Too much fat was suctioned and toxic amounts of lidocaine anesthetic were administered. Hundreds, but possibly thousands, of people died. There is a case of a young healthy liposuction patient who received five times the toxic dose of local anesthetic and died that night. That reminds me of Kanye West's mother and Joan Rivers. They also died right after having work done. According to the American Society of Plastic Surgeons, more than 20,000 people had the BBL procedure by board-certified surgeons in 2017, rising steadily from 8,500 in 2012. This business helped transform Miami into a national plastic surgery destination. Eight women died. This doctor is responsible for killing her. The poorly named BBL does not actually lift the buttocks. Rather, flat buttocks are rounded out, grown instantly, with fat transplanted from the belly, hips, or thigh. Sounds good to a lot of women who want to slim their waist while expanding their buttocks in this two-for-one procedure. When fat is in short supply, inventive surgeons find other materials, such as hyaluronic acid, or even silicone or plastic to plump the derriere. As the procedure rose in popularity, complications surfaced. Early disasters by untrained doctors were dismissed by board-certified plastic surgeons. By 2015, 13 BBL deaths had occurred in Mexico. From 2011 to 2016, there were 25 BBL deaths among members of the American Society for Aesthetic Plastic Surgery. In 2017, a plastic surgery task force astonishingly reported that 3% of plastic surgeons who performed the procedure had a patient die. From 2013 to 2018, just one Florida clinic had at least eight patients die. Last August, a task force found that BBLs had a death rate of up to 1 in 3,000, the highest from any aesthetic procedure. This approaches the death rate from gallbladder surgery, and the overall death rate for BBLs is even higher than the death rate for patients under 50 years old who undergo gallbladder surgery. Diseased gallbladders must be removed, accepting any risk, but no one has ever succumbed to a small buttocks. People die from BBL when fat, accidentally injected into muscle veins with diameters as large as drinking straws travels to the lungs. Plastic surgeons have been advised to inject fat under the skin and not into the muscle, but this guideline is technically impossible to follow. Newly reported death rates are as high as 1 in 500. After the procedure, patients can be plagued with rumpled, grotesque, 
asymmetric buttocks from uneven survival of transplanted fat. Plastic surgery is the only medical specialty where new procedures debut on television shows without the academic scrutiny required in fields like cardiac surgery. The high BBL death rate among properly trained surgeons is startling. These are the so-called cream of the crop doctors who spend six years in residency and pass certifying exams. When rogue doctors perform BBLs, I shudder to think about what their real death rates are because they are not reported anywhere. Worse, practitioners who inject silicone cock from hardware stores are killing unsuspecting women in garages and hotel rooms. This guy had a fake license, he punctured her intestines. The British Association of Aesthetic Plastic Surgeons warned their members to stop performing the procedure. Despite this, the BBL is thriving in America. This doctor left her with kidney failure and an infection. When patients die from a procedure that until a decade ago was considered ridiculous, something is amiss. Many doctors believe that plastic surgeons should stop performing this procedure, and they make few friends among their colleagues calling for Brazilian butt lifts to be banned, but the Hippocratic Oath promises to do no harm. BBL procedures are understudied and unsafe. Many patients request the procedure and are disappointed when a responsible doctor says to them that they won't perform it. Cosmetic surgery procedures are not reasonable but they are risky. The benefits do not outweigh the risk. It is easy to get lost in this world when we don't follow the laws, statues and commandments of the creator of the heavens and the earth. As a woman when you don't obey the father you can find yourself showing your body off to the world and following these wicked trends. And that is what cosmetic surgery is ladies. It is a wicked trend, a trap and a snare. It is vanity at its worst. Exercise, eat healthy and you can have a fit and healthy looking body. Appreciate the curves that the creator of the heavens and the earth gave you. So I hope you found this video helpful if you did leave a like and a comment. And if it is your first time on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time.